What's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to get the legendary Starlight Nautilus fish in Core Keeper. Now this is the only legendary fish that is currently in the game, but it comes with a very special perk and it gives you a permanent 100 max health, but you can only eat it once and get that buff. So right now my base health is at 976. If I were to go and eat one right now, my permanent health now for the base is 1,076, but if I go to eat another one, so I'm at 1,076, if I eat another one, I'm still at 1,076, so you cannot eat more than one of these and get that buff, and you notice down there the plus 100 max health, it was green, and now it is grayed out, so I can't use this anymore. The only reason to get multiples of these is to cook different recipes. Or you could go and put it on some other characters or trade it with other people. So before I show you how to get into it, let's go ahead and cook it up with... Uh, actually, we're going to cook two of them together really fast and see what we get. No matter what you cook this with, it's not going to stack the 100 max health together and get like 200 or anything crazy like that. But you could cook it that way you get an extra one of these foods. So we got the rare sparkling starlight sushi. And then if I were to cook this with um, uh, a, a shiny gar golden larva, we'll see what we get. Now you notice I actually got two of those sushis right here because of my cooking skill being high. And you also have perks like the Master Chef, which gives you a plus 25% chance for additional food gained from cooking to be rare. Uh, these are rare, so you can just get some better food that way. And that gave me these stats on here. But like I said, no matter what you cook it with, it's always going to have just that 100 max health and you can only eat it one time. Now, how do you actually obtain this magical fish? Well, you need to go to any of the lava areas down in the new desert biome. You can only catch this fish from the lava. So I'm over here at my ancient forge. It can be at any of these locations right here. So like these little caverns here, all this red here, you can fish in any of those. Now, you do have to use the Galaxite fishing rod. Because if you use any other rod like the Octarine fishing rod that I have here, it's just going to bounce out and you can't use it. So the only way to fish in lava is to use the Galaxite fishing rod. So to get that fish, you just keep fishing in here until you get it. But there are ways to increase your chances of actually obtaining the fish. And that is using this setup here. So I'm using the, dive, uh, the diving build. I have the diving helm, the kelp mantle, the scuba fins, the Neptune necklace, and the goldfish rings. If I have a set of five, this gives me a plus 29% chance to get double fish when catching a fish. So you especially want to have this full set. That way, if you do catch one of these, a Starlight Nautilus, you have a very small chance of getting a double uh, catch. So that would be really great. And it also gives you a plus 24% of your fishing added as range damage with this set. So you don't need this in this instance. But if you ever want to use it for anything else or a range build, you can definitely use that. And I'm also using the purple bait. This gives me a 21% chance for higher rarity fish to bite. So you definitely want to be using the purple bait. That way you have a 21% chance, a higher chance of actually catching this rare fish compared to the other ones. If we go over to my skill tree and go down to the fishing, these are what I'm using. So I'm using the angler's advantage. It makes it where the fish start 15% closer to being reeled in. A 20% chance to get a fish on the hook. Uh, fish bite 25% faster. This one is plus 50% fishing rod throw range. And then studied patterns. I just clicked on this one. This one's not going to help you in at all. So you definitely want like these four right here. Try to get this build if you can. Get the purple bait. I do have a video on how to make this build. So if you want to watch that, you definitely can just search that up on my channel. But really quickly to get the purple bait, you just have to go to the fishing vendor that I have right over here. And you can purchase a lot. I think it's like 30 of his bait. Yeah, 30 for only 10 ancient coins each. So very, very cheap. You can also purchase these other baits if you would like to. Or you could craft your own bait at the little bait workshop, which is right here. So we have the spicy bait, sweet, glowing, and the sticky bait. So just use whatever fishing items and baits that you have to make your life a little bit easier. And if you're just starting off, you definitely want to wait until your fishing is a lot higher. So my fishing right now is at 479. And this says a higher fishing allows catching fish in higher level areas while also making fish easier to catch. 
This fish is actually very hard to catch even if you have him on the hook. So you want your fishing as high as you can and you want to stack these buffs and skills to make it that much easier. But anyways, that is it for the video. I hope this helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next one.